evening, YouTube. Woo! Yeehaw, doggy. What's going on, y'all? Hope everybody has been very, very healthy, very, very safe. Um, as you can see in front of you, we have a couple items uh, that we will be uh, partaking of this evening. To the left of your screen, which I hope is the left of your screen, we have a triple sour from Victory. Victory is known for their Sour Monkey, uh, which was one of their original sours, and they have built almost their entire collection off of that. Uh, we went down there and visited um, the facility once, and everything seemed to kind of be built off of that base. And this is their triple option, which I will be drinking this evening. And to the right, you have the Light Keeper, and that's a Key Lime Goose. Uh, again, it's also in the Sour family and a little more mild. Um, it, it's still a pretty strong sour. Um, what's going on, Mark? Welcome. Uh, congrats on that third clutch. And uh, uh, the, uh, the Light Keeper is pretty decent. Uh, it has, it, you know, the finish is in the uh, Key Lime area. And then after that, the amount of sour just blows your taste buds away and you don't taste it anymore. Um, so Matt is, dang it, I ruined the surprise. So, hi! <laughs> <laughs> For the first time in seven and a half weeks, uh, Matt Thomas has finally arrived in-house here and we will be doing this video together, uh, which has been a while. A White Claw Mason! Please tell me you're female. Sorry, I'm just kidding. I, I have one of those uh, little um, emojis that, not emojis, but the, uh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, short on words. The, uh, the memes. memes. Uh, one of the memes, <laughs> and uh, that's all I have. Okay, fair enough. At least you got something to drink. What's up going on, ballers? Welcome. In the house. Yes, sir. Two clutches this evening that we will be cutting uh, when we get that far. And um, just to give you a quick rundown, clutch number one, which I'll be cutting, is an inchy yellow belly het ghost to hopefully the Firefly Leopard het desert ghost. Uh, I did write down uh, last year's pairings just in case. Um, however, I really think it's the Firefly based on the way things went. And clutch number two, which Matt is going to cut, is an Enchi Yellow Belly Posset Pied Ghost to a Pastel Enchi Yellow Belly Leopard Het Pied Posset Ghost. So Say what? I'm it, cutting a clutch. Uh, Woo! Yeah, he's going to cut a clutch. <laughs> but uh, with that said, that clutch could potentially produce a mini pied ghost. Craziness. But there's only four eggs, so the odds to prove out three pos hats and then not just hit one visual recessive hit two visual recessives with all those other genes in there um it's got to be like one in a thousand or something <laughs> like that something ridiculous so that's that's on the cut agenda for this evening um before we get that far um i'm gonna move some of this stuff i am definitely gonna pop the top on this jim was nice enough uh to have an extra sour for myself because I haven't been to a, uh, a store. And Matt hasn't left the house. Other than to go to work. In seven and a half weeks. So this particular sour, again, they, they look very similar. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They're very, very clear, uh, clean drinking, um, pretty decent sour. Cheers, you guys. Lou Balls, welcome. Yeah, um... That tastes so good. <laughs> if I happen to hit it, I happen to hit it. Again, the, the chances of even... I, I'd just be happy if I proved them both out for Hypo and Pied. Cheers, Marshall. Welcome. Thanks for dialing in. I'm going to give this back to Matt here. Um, hey. I'm almost done with what Matt's drinking. <clears throat> So I'm going to stick this one aside. <laughs> There's a wild mat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's, it's, it's new ground. It feels very weird it does. having him over here because normally um, my wife and my daughter help, which is fantastic. I just don't get the dialogue 
uh, that I get from Matt, and usually he's pretty good about watching questions. So um, we'll, we'll see if he can, <laughs> if he can uh, pull double duty. Or maybe he's lost his stride. So nope. um, as no we stride typically lost. do, I'm going to pull out the animals from the last clutch, and we'll take a look at those. Uh, that was the uh, Cine Het Tri to the Yellow Belly Het Tri. Uh, big whiff there, no visuals, uh, but some really, really good looking animals nonetheless. And then there's a couple other animals that I want to show you guys that just look fantastic right now. And then we'll get into the egg cutting <laughs> so we don't uh, keep it going for too long. <laughs> Jim just admitted that Matt talks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens about once a month, but he does talk. <laughs> Time to knock the rust off, Matt. Yes, I agree. I got to get back in the groove. Back in the saddle again. Yeah, Hypo does seem to be highly sought, sought at after. Bit, bit, bit. Um, <clears throat> we just, uh, we've kind of had Hypo in our collection for a little while, or Paws hy um, Hypos and Ghosts. Um, so, uh, we just happened to get to that point where we can start breeding some. So this one here, this was actually the first animal that I cut on this last clutch. And uh, the people that were on the individuals uh, were pretty definitive that this was going to prove to be a het tri-stripe, uh, just to, based on its color and pattern. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a yellow belly. However, uh, there's not a lot of uh, you know flames coming up, um, but when you roll it over, that's clearly yellow belly. Uh, so yeah, I guess the only thing that I could say is that, you know, the het tri-stripe is what's kind of messing with all this pattern and stuff. However, that would be crazy because it's not known to do that. It tends to link a lot of alien heads together and almost get a tri-stripe look. Um, but this is a female. So she will uh, hang out with us for a while. We'll grow her out. Yeah, dorsal does look really good. Look, does look neon. Even in, yeah, in person. Looks even really in person, good. it looks really good. Um, no, orange ghost and hypo are different. Um, they are different, but they are compatible. So this is a uh, what I believe to be just a cinnamon. And um, there's you know there's a linking alien head. There's two. There's three. Um, but again, all the way down, there's a few linking alien heads. Not terribly uncommon for cinnamon to do that. Um, a few more on this side as well. Uh, this ended up being a female. Yeah, the two or three that you hit out of the whole clutch. Yeah, three right? females <laughs> out of eight eggs, so horrible odds. So I'm going to hold on to these two females as well, um, just to see... You know, it, it, hopefully I get a visual. Um, I did have another tri-stripe clutch drop. It was an albino het tri to the same yellow belly het tri. Um, would love to hit a visual that's 100% het for albino. And um, hopefully it's a male and bring him back and prove all these girls out. Let me get a couple more. For sure. Welcome, Wiz. Oh, Sheila's trying to find our live. Uh, she just messaged you. Ow! As Jim gets Ow. as Jim gets bit. <laughs> Twice by the same freaking snake. Um, do you get your text on here so I can message Sheila? Dude, I don't know. I can't. I can't right now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I got you. Um, oh, no. You don't. Dude, I'm just getting lit up. That was the... So these two are normals or... <laughs> Posset tries. Um, pretty much very, very similar. Not too many differences. This one seems to be a little lighter in color. A little more feisty, too. Uh, well, they both bit me. So, oh, they both got you. Yeah, they both got me. Uh, but they look pretty good. Uh, when you roll them over, you know, pretty typical belly. That's, you know, pretty normal belly. Um, same with this one's a little funky. Um, so maybe the het is doing that. 
but when you look at these two, this is pretty classic for a normal belly. That one's just a little more funky, so that could be a het. Um, but with that said, I start looking for those other markers. Well, all those linked alien heads, I'm just not seeing it. So I, you know, again, I don't know. Uh, the parents came from Sean Bradley, uh, both of them, and they were both sold as 100% hets. So, I, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I think uh, I think Jim's got knocked the rest off. He's never usually gets bit. Well, that was a blind grab. So that's... <laughs> and to answer your question, no, you don't get your messages on your iPad. Especially when they're not Apple. Yeah. So this this is another normal that came out of that clutch. Or pos het for tri stripe. Um, some great striping on the tail there. You know, fairly decent color, but again, looking at that belly, that's pretty classic normal belly. So I'm going to guess that this one and the other one are probably not het, and that one with the whacked belly probably is. Um, but nice little normal. And then, like, smoke show. Yeah, let me see if I can get that. So this is definitely at least a cinnamon yellow belly. The head is pretty cool. Really dark. Yeah. And then, again, looking at those sides, a lot of that linking of those alien heads on both sides, all, you know, good part of the neck. Good look at the, the whole body there. Yeah. And here too. Um, so that's one of them. To uh, Dave, love the new rack, especially when you can get a girl that's close to 5,000 grams and the tub still slides nice. <laughs> All right, this is number two. Again, lots of linking cool. here. And on that side... So I'm, um, you know, again, it's, and even down on the tail. So probably het for tri-stripe. Uh, if you look at those two, these are males. This one's a little brighter in color. And believe it or not, one more cinnamon yellow belly out of that clutch. Whoa, come here, buddy. Pretty good odds. Yeah, <laughs> and again, some linking. Not so much, just a little bit. Yeah, know, if it'll hold still. Not complying. A um, little bit up by the neck. There we go. There's some more. But really, I like the way you get all this smokiness that comes up the side here. These guys just look really, really good. And 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 by what was listed, these should be 66% het tries. But without hitting a visual, um, you know, I don't know. But all three are males. I'm probably going to pick one and the one that has the most markers and hold on to it and see what happens. Probably that one right there. Yeah. But yeah, these guys, I Look like good. I like this like crazy smokiness. These guys look good. I like that cinnamon yellow belly. I mean, look at those alien heads. I mean, that's just yeah, that's just crazy. Add some awesomeness. Yeah. yeah, it's been a while up since I've been here. It's warm up here. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. So what's up, Falcons? So this here, this male here, just got a new forever home. Uh, we we took the deposit today. This is a pied, one hundred percent het for albino. Perfect amount of white, perfect amount of color. Yep. And looks really good. A lot of really nice orange colors in his saddles. It's just a fantastic example, in my opinion, anyway. Um, uh, yes, Brewer. We have one female pied available. It's a black pastel pied head albino. <clears throat> I can pull that one, too. 
I'm going to let you guys take a look at the side by side of. There we go. So, black pastel tends to make things very high white. It's a little dusty. Um, so, you get the head pattern, and uh, the rest is just all white. But she is also 100% het for albino. So if you have albino stuff, yeah, that becomes a powerhouse right there. Yep. You know what? Seeing we're doing the pied stuff, we can't not do. Uh, we, we can contact him after. Yeah, Brewer, um, drop me. Uh, I'll, I'll message him. I got yeah. his stuff on my Insta. And uh, this was the prize of that clutch. Um, this is at least a pin pie. <laughs> they look so good. Yeah. So this is at least a pin pied. And the more I've looked at different pin pies, I think this is going to prove to be a black pastel pin pied. Only because most other pin pies, the saddles have some kind of pattern in them. And the black pastel tends to do the saddles more like this dark with the edging. And I get the edging, and then the pin is bringing in some of these nice orange highlights. Um, and it's just a great animal. It's also a female. Look at that. And Look she'll be head. definitely staying here. For sure. I like how the, uh, the head pattern closes at the top. It starts to run down the neck. Yeah. And then it, that's like the last of the pinstripe that you see. Yeah, just a, a, a fantastic animal. Um, initially popped, we thought it was going to be a male, and we were jumping for joy. Yeah, because then we were going to get a. We right have in not there. hit a male mm -hmm. pied yet. Um, <laughs> Well, at least that, a male com that, combo. That has a combo that has an incomplete in it that we want to kind of spread around. Um, and then when we popped it the second time, it ended up being a female and we're like, well, I mean, there could be worse things to hit. So, right. um, yeah, you know, what a powerhouse animal. And next giveaway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> that, one. Not gonna that one's going nowhere. <laughs> and, uh. This next animal is the complete smoke show of anything I've produced probably in the past couple of years. This would be, I would rate, as the second brightest snake that you've produced. Yeah. Mini being the first. Uh, while she was young. Yep, and then, and then this, this one. one. So uh, this male here is completely ridiculous. Um, this was a pastel lesser... Uh, I'm sorry. A super pastel lesser resurrection gene and again just to clarify the resurrection gene is a, a name that i've given it it's a gene that uh, i started you know i did some research on i went back and i grabbed and i absolutely love love what it's doing um and we've got uh several several clutches coming this season with it to really see what it does with different things um, but this again is believed to be a pastel lesser yellow belly resurrection het for pied now the pairing for this was super pastel lesser resurrection and the male is a yellow belly het for tristripe now i think this one is a het because i'll show you the the next one yeah the flaming coming up the sides it's it's crazy so this <laughs> Is the next best one in the clutch. <laughs> I believe is a, a pastel lesser yellow belly resurrection. You can see all that yellow belly action going on there. Doesn't look like your typical pastel lesser yellow belly. The difference between these two, I think the influence is coming from the uh, the het tristripe or the tristripe gene. Yeah, Lou, the, the resurrection, it's just a name we've given the it's a, so fal it's a false name. I'm just kind of keeping the project a little secret that I'm working with until I can get through this season and really see what it does. Um, decide which direction I want to go, kind of get in front of certain people, and then um, we'll see what happens. 
But and then I'll release the name and who knows, but like that but the Jane, is crazy train. Yeah, pretty much what the Jane does is it brightens and cleans. Like Yep. There's a lot of yellow, a lot of orange. Yep, and then makes it really, really, really clean. But if you look on the sides and these alien heads, all this white. Yeah. It comes up in these alien heads here. That's that's one of a common trait. And then when we come back over to this one, you can see it all around here. It's doing all the same thing. Um, but this extra amp of color, I really think, is the uh, the tri-stripe stuff. Yeah, I was telling, coming through. telling Jim with this one here, it just looks like you just took a can of paint and just drizzled it over the snake. Yeah, it's, it's just so like... so crazy. Yeah, this animal is insane. Yeah, super Ooh. stoked to have this one, yeah, for sure. i got to post that one on the website next to Mini. Yeah, no kidding, right? All right, we ready to cut some eggs or what? Woo! Sorry not to give anybody a headache, but that's me shaking, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no seizure moments. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So again, this is that uh, the triple. It looks all very similar to what Matt's drinking. Um, but it, it's uh, a little a more, more than powerful. twice the alcohol content. This is a 9.5. And I think this is a four, four point eight. Yeah, so almost double. Lou, we are cutting two clutches. Yeah, you're in for a treat tonight. So again, for you guys that showed up a little bit later, the first clutch we're cutting this evening is an Enchi Yellow Belly Het Ghost to a Firefly Leopard Het Desert Ghost. Clutch number two, Matt's going to cut this one. It's an Enchi Yellow Belly Pos Het Pied Ghost to a Pastel Enchi Yellow Belly Leopard Het for Pied Pos Het for Ghost. So, yeah, craziness. Um, we could potentially make another mini, and it could also be Pied, and it could also be Pied Ghost, or it could be Ghost, <laughs> if they prove out. But that becomes like one in a thousand. I say, where's the uh, the golden scissors? Yeah, golden scissors and the bright blue towel. Golden scissors. What's a mini? Mason Mini is a name that we gave a snake because of her head stamp on her face, uh, but she is a pastel leopard and she ivory, sixty six percent het pied. Sixty six percent pied. Yeah, and she is. See, um... the rust is all off. I remember. <laughs> If you go back through my Insta feed, um, you'll be able to take a look at her when she came out of the egg after her first shed, and she was insane. She's still gorgeous, but you can see that Minnie Mouse head stamp right there. Really cool. That's how she got her name. So I call her the Mini Ball, um, and she is a couple days from laying her first clutch. Ah. You're a little nervous? Oh, I'm excited, man. <laughs> Bumping into things, getting get bit excited. by snakes. I like to cut eggs. <laughs> it's like it's like Christmas time. Time seven. <laughs> there we go. So Ooh. that's our clutch. They uh, they are quite dimpled. Flattened out really nice. Now this is probably one of the first looks. Well, probably not the first look, but uh, this is a, a not new. But this is a new sized uh, vermiculite that we're using. This is a grade three, uh, considerably smaller and finer than what we used before. Um, and for no reason, but you can see that I like, I don't know saturate. if you want to try to, like I saturate this stuff, completely saturate it. So I never have to worry about how much fluid um, I'm gonna have, whether it's gonna be dry, too dry or whatever. And then that light grid keeps them right up off the top. And you see they're not, not plump, so there's not too much water in there, so there's no risk of any drowning. Right. They're raised up off so they don't drown, but plenty of humidity throughout the whole process. And you can clearly see how nice and easy those come apart. These guys are all ready to, uh, to <laughs> pip, and they all feel good. I can feel the snakes and everything. Imagine if you're... Uh... Girl was Het Desert Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, Het Desert Ghost too. Right. Um, Rick Schlosher would freak out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, um, that was right. That was the girl you got from him, huh? Yeah, yeah. I picked that girl up from him. So 
to be uh, Het Ghost and Desert Ghost, he would, um, yeah. Oh, the first one looks really good. Some Enchi. So, so that looks like a Fire Enchi, maybe some Leopard in there. That's off to a good start. That's pretty yeah, bright. Look, There's look, some look, flaming there too. You look, can see a little bit coming up. Yeah, and you can see you get a little bit of that nose, which yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah, for sure. So you know, there's there definitely could be some some yellow belly in that one. We'll see when that comes out. Yeah, and it's got some good color too, nice and bright. Yeah, I like it. Not a bad first egg to cut. No, not at all. Again, and and again, not expecting any recessive stuff out of this at all. Um it was just, just more to get the combination of genes. Based in, on the pairing, yeah. Just to kind of do a little something different with that leopard quad stuff that we do. And this is definitely yellow belly. Woo. Yeah, you see all that That looks like firefly up. there. Yeah, firefly yeah. yellow belly. Pastel, fire, maybe some yellow belly in there. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Looks very similar to the not well, like a non thick version of my Firefly Grill that I got. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. So, I, I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen people cut eggs differently. Uh, I know, like, Brian Barczyk will use a razor blade. He doesn't really even take them out of the container. He leaves them where they are and um, kind of cuts little slits in them. Um, other people will make a little V-slice actually stick the scissors inside the egg when they cut. Um, me, I like to be on the outside. I don't like to be anywhere near the animal. Uh, so that looks like a, uh, maybe a leopard. leopard inchy yellow belly. And, uh, you know, the yellow belly is just adding some of this funkiness here is what I, I suspect anyway. Uh, this pairing was the inchy yellow belly het ghost, right? Yeah, this is the Enchi Yellow Belly Het Ghost to a Firefly Leopard Het Desert Ghost. Um, so anything that has pastel, fire, and leopard in it could potentially be uh, Desert Ghost, or Het for Desert Ghost. And anything that has Enchi and Yellow Belly in it could potentially be Het for Ghost. There's a nice... Uh, leopard, maybe a leopard fire, hard to tell without the head. Actually, everything would be a possible pet for ghost, right? Because it's the mom, because she's... Well, 50%. So, yeah, everybody she's not, be 50. A, she's not a ghost, yeah, so she, everything, yeah. Yep. But nice to not see any normals, but that's a leopard... Just a leopard? No, it's a leopard something. Leopard, a pastel leopard or a leopard fire. It looks more like leopard fire to me. Um, I've made many of the pastel leopards before, don't really look like that. So I would say that's probably a leopard fire. Well, I'm happy with the odds so far. I really like the looks yeah. of this one here. That almost looks ghostish to me, to be honest. And there is, you can see more of the head now. There is, that's either pastel or that's going to be ghost. And the color pattern looks ghost. Um, I'm, How would you get ghost though? I, I have no idea. I have no idea. It doesn't make sense. That would be the next clutch. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but but those colors are more chocolatey instead of dark. So you look at those colors, and then you look over here how dark everything is. So I wonder if it's a firefly leopard enchi. Yeah, we'll we'll see. I, I we've made several pastel enchi leopard yellow bellies. I think three or four of them. Mm. Um, so I'm pretty confident in what they look like when they come out of the egg. Uh, that particular animal doesn't look like any of them. So it's definitely the fire doing something. Yeah, because from what it's going to look like, it's not going to have that classic head stamp that are... Oh, really? All those genes in a normal? Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> That's kind of a cool pattern, though. Could be Posset Ghost, could be Posset Desert Ghost. Yeah, Who knows? Never know. <laughs> never, know. never know what you're going to get. We hit the elusive normal. Yeah, the odds of that would probably be astounding <laughs> if you if you went back and looked them up. This is fun. I'm fun. I'm having fun. I haven't been here in seven <laughs> weeks. I know, right? Ooh. 
Ooh, Ooh, another one. Are you kidding me? Two? This one's definitely got... Jim, stop I'm excited. What do you want? <laughs> this, dude, do you think maybe this is the 5G-ner? And that's why it looks like that? There's a, there's definitely a possibility. I mean, the color is so creamy and like a smoky chocolate. Because there is some flaming. It's so leopard. That, and there's definitely some possibly yellow belly there. Uh, that and, may be a fiver. Those, and, both of those may be the five. That's why they look like that. There's definitely a good chance. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? We'd have to see, like, really Well, they would a... both have to stay here because they're in Poshet Ghost and Poshet DG. Yeah. And some of the DG stuff tends to, sh like, the hets kind of show, like, mocking of, like, what's what's recessive. Yeah, and, it, and oh. the, the het could definitely be um, messing yeah, with work, those, too. You know, putting some work in. Yeah, I like those. I like that. Yeah, it'd be interesting Ghost, to like. It'd be interesting to see what they look like after their first shed, for sure. Oh, come on, Jim! I hit the four <laughs> and the four. So that's your classic pastel inchy leopard, leopard yellow, yellow belly, belly right there. Let's see if we can get to see the head. Turn your head a little bit, and yep, that's the quad. Yeah, and it's just glowing like mad. So again, I, I'm going to come back over here, and I think these two animals. Could is this with fire that's brightening that up? So, <clears throat> wow, two five geners and a four. Like, come on, really? Two and you were and you're worried about your odds as a cutting two fivers <laughs> and a four banger. That is definitely the pastel inchy leopard yellow belly, um, and it it actually looks better than Dad did. Um, that animal is amazing, and I love this like brown it almost, chocolate color. It almost has the same brightness as what the the quad that I produced. Uh, yeah, I think yours had a little more orange. Yeah, and this one's got a little bit more of that yellow. Like to it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's beautiful. And I love these two. There may be three animals staying here. Oh, Golly, say, that kills me. And hopefully they're all girls. Well, that would be even better. <laughs> wow. So I'm going to slide those a little bit to you. I'm going to put are some crazy... this over here. I can't believe I'm going to let you cut this clutch. I can't believe Jim. When Jim was like, "Hey, you want to? You can cut this clutch." And I'm like, "Why are you having me cut the like the crazy clutch?" I'm like, especially just now after you hit those odds. <laughs> well, I've been over here for eight weeks pulling eggs and, and, and cutting clutches, so now it's it's your turn. And since you're My here, turn. your turn. Since you're here, there's some good luck in there for sure. A couple five bangers, a four banger. I I really I, mean, I really think Jim wants my double hit luck. I think that's what he's really looking for because both of my double head clutch or my double head clutch that I've done, I've produced a crazy amount of pides and I will take any recessive luck at this point. <laughs> We're gonna do a little switcheroo here, and you guys will get a nice little look at. Well, I think you guys already seen it on other videos, but nice new shirt. I don't think so. It's not been on videos. I think you've done you've worn it on um, a couple live streams. So uh, this is our, our new one percenter shirt. Sorry, a little dirty. Um, so as far as YouTube goes, a huge shout out to my buddy Neil at um, Sweet Dreams Tattoo Shop in Honolulu, or well, technically Waikiki, Hawaii. Um, I've been out to him. He's done some work on me, and uh, the guy is just amazing. And the last time I was out, I asked if he would, uh, if he would do our logo in Polynesian. So um, all this stuff is classic old school Polynesian work. So I'll start with here. You can see these are snake tongues. So way, way back in the day, um, these were would be tattooed on, on tribe members for protection against snakes. Um, we got some snake bellies here. These are octopus or what represent octopus. Um, we have we have um, blades, and then shark teeth. On the yeah, outside the here. shark. Yeah, shark teeth along the outside, which is power. Uh, we got some birds here, which represent prosperity. Um, th there's just a whole lot of culture. Um, this, these up here, these uh, with the dots in them, these are called maka, and it represents the eyes of your ancestors that are always watching over you. So there's a lot of uh, historical culture and different things here with all these symbols. And again, I'm horrible. I don't know them all. 
um, but it, it was a fantastic experience. I did do a video on it uh, when I went out there and I got my first tattoo and um, I sat for like five hours and exactly, you know, camo. Uh, and again, the one percenter, uh, just for the, just for information, um, you spend a thousand dollars with us one time or collectively, um, that's how you get that shirt. Otherwise there's no other way to really get that shirt. Um, but yeah, I sat with this guy for like five hours and three and a half hours. He spent explaining all these different symbols and what they mean and why he chose certain ones to put into my tattoo for, uh, you know, representation, representation, <laughs> representation of snakes and, and different things like that. So anyway, representation, <laughs> representation, I'm making up words as we go along here. So, wow, dude, that just, yeah, that's just, just my crazy. Mind. Uh, that animal is just off the chain. And that really does look like that's what... Yeah, exactly, Melina. Trust me, it's not my first one today, so I'm on like three or four or so. Um, Matt, Matt's got some catching up to do. Yeah, it's, it's my first one. <laughs> yeah, this clutch looks good. That is just ridiculousness. Woo! And then... Um, this clutch here, we're going to cut only four eggs, but you know, you never know what's going to happen. I mean, you could hit some craziness even with four eggs. You're so really, you're really putting the pressure on me. I am. <laughs> I, I'm a hundred percent putting the pressure on you. You've got to get this done, baby. This would be the first recessives of the season. Right. All right. You should peel apart nice and easy. Which one are you going to cut first? I'm going to go with the bigger egg, the biggest one. The plumpest one? Plumpest and longest. You can definitely see Matt has a different technique. He likes to force it down into the table. I wasn't forcing it into the table. Woo, that's bright. Ooh, doggy. That looks pretty. So again, um, Enchi Yellow Belly is in the mix. Pastel Enchi Leopard Yellow Belly is in the mix for incompletes. Um, so we can hit Super Enchies, we can hit Ivories, Enchi Leopard, Ivories, all that stuff. And then there is Posset Pied in the mix uh, and Posset Ghosts. So um, don't look any of the recessives there, but definitely um, a great looking animal for a first cut. I yeah. like it. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely got some good genes in it for sure. Is that the same? Mm. Is it a pastel enchi leopard yellow belly? Pattern's a little different. I don't know yeah. if it's got the enchi in it, but... Yeah, the pattern is definitely crazy, though. Yeah, I agree. I was trying to see if I can see its head anywhere, but yeah. it's got it buried. It'll come out. We'll do it. All right, we'll get the two plump ones out of the way. Mount St. Helens. <laughs> yeah, you can see here, we like to keep the scissors on the top of the egg. And as long as you're not in too early, uh, it's, you know, usually have, you know, plenty of space. There's a nose. Wow, look at the color on that one. Yeah, nice little pastel enchi. Maybe some Something. Maybe a little no, bit of yellow. Maybe. I don't know. Enchi will do that. We'll pop your head out a little bit more for me. I know, right? <laughs> but it's really bright. Yeah, maybe. Pest, yeah, it could be pestle and yellow, but it'll do that. Super clean, though. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't call it ghost. I, I no. You know, I, I've been breeding for ghosts for, uh, what, three years? A while, yeah. And I've never hit one. Um, I, I don't have great luck with recessives, as you guys know if you follow me. <laughs> <laughs> I can hit anything but a recessive. <laughs> the only thing I've hit was pides, and I hit them once once I, I agree camo it definitely super clean great looking snake um could potentially be a ghost um but i wouldn't know until it come out and was like 400 grams <laughs> ooh, ooh, ivory leopard ivory leopard ivory yeah um and some that and is some. nuts Wow. Leopard, leopard, it's got to be, I don't know what kind of, it's an ivory something, but like it's the like whole bottom crazy. is solid color. And it's striped, kind of like mini. Yeah. 
Like nice, look at that! Bright, look at that stripe. That's like crazy. Bright. Dude, oh, I wonder. I wonder more. if that's a hypo. There's more. Look. There's oh, more. it's a mini. It's a mini, dude. That's yeah. a mini. That is Woo. definitely another mini. Holy crap! Look at that. Look at that tail, dude. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's the tail. Thanks, right Titan. Yeah, that's dude, and it almost looks hypoish. It doesn't look as bright. It looks real. Oh, dude, I'm so amped. Yeah, I finally hit another oh. mini. I'm sorry, y'all. I hate to be so loud, but like, oh my, don't dig too much. I'm not. I'm just. That looks just like mini I did. Get a little bit more of that side right there. Oh, look how crazy that does is. it does it prove the mini well mini is a, a, a like a collection of jeans so it's a, like a multi-stack yeah joe uh it, well, it could be a super inchy something like a super inchy leopard ivory you know any, any of that but like those colors are really really close to the representation of what mini was when she was in the egg um uh, dude, I I can't wait to see this thing come out. Holy yeah, cow! I, I, I'm I'm like because this creaminess. My is, my knees are quivering. <laughs> <laughs> like this solid creaminess wasn't like exactly like she was brighter on the side, so it's interesting. Well, to see not what, not in the not in the egg. Oh yeah, when, when she, she came out, out yeah. she she was definitely. But like, dude, I'm I'm digging that. I can't wait for that to come out. Holy crap! Woo! Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Show me your face. <laughs> um, and, and you know what? If I don't hit a recessive, but I hit that stuff. I'm fine with that. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah, Camo, I did in the beginning. I pulled her out and I showed her. She's definitely two plus. A couple days from laying eggs. Um, but like, holy crap, that tail even. Or something close anyway. Uh, it just looks amazing. Yeah, I can see a lot of you guys dropped off. Yeah, it's <laughs> that's crazy town right there. So it doesn't look it doesn't look like I hit any recessives, um, with the exception maybe that may prove to be like a ghost. I you know, I it's doubt it, one, but maybe. Yeah, I, that could also be a ghost. Uh, welcome back. Yeah, we're still going strong here. I'm not sure what happened. I haven't had any hang-ups on my end, but man, what a couple crazy clutches, huh? Yeah, the amount, of, the amount of genes that have popped out. Yeah. No Thanks, Titan. Crazy Appreciate it. Yeah. Genes. Definitely think this is the five banger. So this would be a pastel inchy leopard yellow belly fire. Oh. I would have to say this is the same thing. The face is buried there down in the corner. This would be the same thing minus the fire. You can see the nose. What was the last egg cut? All right. That's this one here. This is a pastel leopard something else. Um, <laughs> super, su yeah, either a super leopard or uh, um, the, head's, the head is right there, and it doesn't have your classic um, head stamp for an Enchi leopard, uh, but the the brightness, the cleanness, the color is definitely more than like a pastel leopard. Um, thanks, Mark. I really appreciate it. Yeah, there's a good look at that animal. Lots of purple, lots of bright yellow stripes. And again, this animal is going to color up more over the next couple well, days to a week as it comes out. Thanks, Camo. I appreciate it. So all these yellows are going to be really amplified. This is this is really really close to another mini ball um we'll wait for it to come out and really get a look at it to see truly what's there you know maybe it's a ghost animal too um completely agree brewer that tail is off the cuff um i love i love i love that that lavender color thank you matt you want to cut his uh next clutch who's that dave yeah dave's asking <laughs> Oh, no, depend on what it is. Yeah, super <laughs> nice. He'll pay you in beer. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. Uh, no recessives. That's okay, especially when you hit something like that. And I would love for that to be a male. Yeah. It, I, I, can't, I can't waste too much of my mojo. I got a clutch coming up next week, so. Uh, uh, what are, yeah, what are you cutting? 
Uh, next week, I'll be cutting a fire yellow belly head exanthic to either a pastel dark phase exanthic or a pastel Kelly spider exanthic. Yeah, doggy. There's a uh, also, um, I think two days before that one, mm -hmm. we have the uh, the nicey nice, yeah, Enchi sugar to an OD fire uh, that'll be coming up. What's going on, Buckeyes? Yeah, that one's a Friday. Thanks for that. I appreciate it. The Fire Yellow Belly Head Exanthic is due Monday, and then Tuesday you're... Well, two days later. They're two days apart. 17th and 19th-ish, I think. Uh, oh, I can tell you. I got the thing right here. Yeah, ivory something something for sure. Yeah, it's definitely leopard putting in the purple. So I know it's minimally an, uh, a leopard ivy. Uh, leopard by itself doesn't lend to the striping. Um, previously, the other animal that I produced was a pastel inchy leopard ivory that looked extremely similar to this. Uh, so it's either oh, a pastel inchy or a super inchy or a pastel super inchy leopard ivory. And then there's uh, they're at least 50% het for pied. And who knows what else um, possible ghost stuff or pied stuff could be in the mix there. Sorry, what's today's date? The fifth. So not next week, the week after. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's so bright, dude. Yeah. So, sorry, not this Friday. Uh, next Friday is the, so on the 16th, will be the OD Fire and the Enchi Sugar. And then... I just love that. It's crazy. So that's Friday, right? 16th is Friday. Oh, no, it's Saturday. Saturday. So Saturday is the uh, Enchi Sugar to the OD Fire. Monday is... And I just wish you guys could see these with the colors that we're seeing them. They're definitely a little more subdued in the video as they always are, but yeah, he just looks so good. That could be that. You know what that that could be just that could be a pastel super inchy. Yeah, because you do have. You thanks, got? thanks, Sheila. I appreciate it. Yeah, you have inchy on both sides. Yeah, and the pattern on that one's just absolutely insane. Yeah, that's that's it's just broken up everywhere. Really, really busy. Yeah. yeah, I like it. But you just can't like. There's just no way. It's like snap the fingers, get out of the egg. Oh <laughs> man! <laughs> Thanks, ballers. Appreciate it, Dave. Um, I just like that's gonna kill me for the next seven days before that. Five days, seven days before they come out. Well, maybe you'll be lucky and it'll be three. All right, Camo, have a good night. Stay safe. Stay Corona safe. Stay very and safe. And thanks for showing up. I appreciate it. Maybe what? I said maybe you'll get them out in three days. Maybe they'll just pop out. Yeah, who knows? Uh, there's still a, a, like a, there's still a fair a bit of veins bit there, so that's, yeah. that's going to take a minute. Some of these look like they're just about ready, some more than others. But, man almighty. Ah, oh, excellent, excellent. I'm, I'm amped. <laughs> But to get back on my messed up topic, because I was getting the dates all wrong. So May 16th, which is a Saturday, that's going to be our uh, Enchi Sugar to the OD Fire. And then that Monday is going to be the yep. OD Extreme to the Mac Fire or the Quad. And then Tuesday will be my Fire Yellow Belly. Yeah, Lou Balls was saying she can't wait. Uh, they can't wait to work with um, Leopard. And yeah, yeah so that fun. was one of the genes that, uh, so th there's two genes that I just almost want to have in everything and it's yellow belly and leopard. Uh, I, I love the, the pattern changing that leopard does. And then, you know, when you get yellow belly on both sides and you can just like start popping stuff like that out of nowhere, like right. how, how, how do you not have that in a collection if, you know, you're doing this as a hobby or whatever. Speaking of leopard, she is in a deep shed. But yeah, I, Marshall, I, I don't necessarily wait for pips. Um, 
Uh, yeah, that's just doesn't even, doesn't even look like her at all. No, but she's going to be laying eggs soon. She's so uh, that head stamp um, is a classic for pastel inchy leopard yellow belly. This girl happens to be very like orange in color when she's not in deep shed, and she's in her prelay shed currently. She is a pastel leopard inchy yellow belly pos head exanthic pos head pied. And she was bred to our pastel dark phase exanthic. Yeah. So hopefully to prove out the exanthic side. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Dave. It's like peanut butter and jelly. It goes with everything. Yeah. Um, but what, back to what Marshall was saying, like I just don't, I just don't wait anymore. Um, I get to day 55 and I cut. I mean, earlier this, was it this year? No, last year. I tried to, like I, I just was set on waiting for animals to pip. I had a boo bag from my super pin girl, and uh, by the time I cut, I cut the eggs live, and it looked, I mean, it looked healthy when I cut it, but when I went back to the clutch the next day, it was dead. So it was dead when I cut the egg, and it had sliced the egg, but didn't have the energy to get out of the egg. Um, because it was so small so i i just won't uh, i just not waiting for them to pip anymore because other than that when i pulled it out of the egg it was completely formed completely healthy it just didn't it was so small because of the boo bag it couldn't get out through the slit and it drowned yeah um so i'm just not willing to take that risk i mean these animals are in captivity um you know this is not the wild these animals are not survival of the fittest so to speak um, the animals that don't feed great out of the egg with a little help, they come around and they start eating like champs and typically catch up to their counterparts um, size and weight wise. So, um, yeah, this is not the wild. I, I completely and firmly believe that I should be doing 100 percent everything for the animals that I'm going to produce so that they have a, you know, a fighting chance. And if that means I got to cut the eggs when they're developed um, I cut the eggs. Um, James, welcome. I'll do, I'll do you a quick rundown. Um, so this first clutch, this was, uh, we're good. We're good. Um, two clutches this evening. So we're very good. Um, this one here is a Enchi yellow belly het ghost to a firefly leopard het desert ghost. Um, yeah, I, Joe, I agree. Again, leopard paired properly just does ridiculous stuff. Even improperly does ridiculous stuff. So we did hit one normal here. This, I think, is a uh, like a fire yellow belly or a, or a firefly. Doesn't have quite the color of a fi firefly. Um, this here... I believe is a pastel inchy leopard yellow belly fire. I believe that's another one. Colors are identical, patterns are almost identical. This is another leopard combo here. Um, he's moved since I looked at him last, so leopard fire or something like that. And here's another funky leopard looking animal and then this smoke show is a pastel inchy leopard yellow belly just looks amazing and then clutch so that's that whole clutch clutch number two was an inchy yellow belly heck ghost no it is an inchy yellow belly pos hat Pied Posset Ghost to a pastel Enchi Leopard Yellow Belly Het Pied Posset <laughs> Ghost. And um, this first animal here, I believe, is a pastel Super Enchi. This is going to be like a Enchi, a pastel Enchi Leopard combo of some some sort. And this is another pastel leopard something. Yeah, super exactly. <laughs> Marshall, like, it's a total tongue twister. 
Uh, you got your first clutch. Well, that's good. Do you get eggs on the ground? He said it was a complete train wreck, though. Well, I hope not. And then this was the uh, the epitome of the entire evening, this right here. So more than likely, uh, this is looking either like a mini duplicate, so a pastel Enchi Leopard Ivory, or a pastel Super Enchi Leopard Ivory, or something along those lines. Um, this girl, male, boy, whatever, has tons of purple, lots of striping, just like Minnie does. The tail is ridiculous, and we are just dying for this animal to get out of the egg. <laughs> had to voice message that, by the way. Yeah, I, I, wow. I definitely couldn't have typed that, that's for sure. <laughs> Two good eggs out of eight, and one's a boob. Oh, oh, man, that stinks. I'm sorry, dude. So, yeah, that was our evening of cutting. Um, we showed off some animals in the beginning, as we typically do. Uh, but just just a great couple of clutches. I really wanted some recessive stuff, but I'm really happy with that right there. I'll forego the recessives for one of those animals. There's so much power in that thing, no matter what it turns out to be. It's insane. I, and and I'm, I'm starting to lean more and more with Baller's Garage, with this super inchy component of that, just because the sides are so clean. Thanks, Brewer. Thanks for swinging in uh, and watching and all the continued support from previous videos. I really appreciate it. Um, have a good evening if you were bugging out. Um, and thanks for dialing in. Uh, just amazing, amazing stuff. Yeah, yeah, James, I'm, I'm super amped. I mean, if that's another mini... I mean, holy cow. Hopefully it's a boy. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully it is a boy because it's at least 50% hat pied. And if it doesn't even prove out for that, it's going to be spreading some serious power around. Yeah, thanks, Donnie. I appreciate it, man. Um, I kind of got kicked in the nuts on the last clutch with the het tri-stripe stuff, but that's all right. We'll take the good with the bad. Wow. Whoo, doggy. And James, look who's here. Yeah. Matt finally showed up after seven and a half weeks um, to I, do a little... Uh, I, got my, I got my GPS finally. It wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he forgot where I live. Well, y'all, um, we've been on here for about an hour, and I really appreciate you guys dialing in and checking this out. Super, super, super. Super excited for these clutches. They look ridiculous. Uh, there's definitely going to be some smoke shows coming your way on Instagram. So, mm. you know, stay dialed in on Instagram. If you're not over there, this stuff is going to be flooding, flooding Instagram over the next week or two. Um, so, again, thank you very much. Uh, appreciate all the support. Thanks for tuning in week in, week out, cutting in, cutting out. Um, and we hope you guys stay super safe, corona safe. And uh, have a good rest of your little mini vacations you guys got going on before we all get back to work here. With that said, peace. Peace. Woo. And we'll see you on the next video.